Macarena Ferreira is a young girl who, because of her love with her boss, was blinded and did not understand what she was doing. The man left his wife and went to Macarena, as for a long time they were not only colleagues, but also lovers. Boss was ready for anything, but warned that in the near future his wife could file for divorce and take away most of his property. Macarena decided to help her lover and, at his request, committed a number of financial crimes. She could not even imagine that he would film how the financial director steals money from the safe. Moreover, at the trial, the boss denied any connection with Macarena. The man suggested that she decided to take revenge on him for being rejected and deliberately ruined one of the subsidiaries, having done a financial fraud. Now Macarena is in prison and in the near future, she could be sentenced to seven years in prison. Believing that all this is a mistake and she will soon be released, the girl calls her mother and lies that she is going on a trip to Italy with a friend and will rest on the Mediterranean Sea. She is sure that within a month everything will be decided and she will be released, but Paloma, the head of the section, accepts Macarena's hope with a smile and mockery because every second prisoner justifies herself just like she does. Once behind bars, Macarena says that she took with her bed linen a set of panties and pills to keep track of her figure. One of the prisoners laughs at her because she knows perfectly well that all this will not be useful to her here. Soon, Paloma explains the rules of being in prison, after which she leads Macarena and other newcomers to the screening room. She forces girls undressed and carefully checks them, after which the prisoners receive clothes and soap supplies. Other girls happily accept fresh meat and are ready to have fun with each of them. Macarena is assigned to cell 234, but the girl refuses to go inside. She sees that prisoners from this block are behaving aggressively and mocking one of the inmates. Meanwhile, director of the prison is holding an educational conversation with two guards. Fabio and Ismail had a fight, which caused a small fight between them. Now they are forced to apologize to each other, even if they do it insincerely. Paloma returns to her duties and hands Macarena to Fabio. A man identifies a cell in 225, where she meets three women, Yolanda, Annabelle, and Soledad. Despite their rudeness, they turn out to be sweet and pleasant cellmates who happily accepted the new one. Paloma takes advantage of her work break to express milk for her newborn baby. At some point, she receives a video in which an unknown person enters her apartment when the woman is sleeping. She understands that her family is in constant danger and is nervous because she is sure that Zulima is behind this. Paloma is ready for anything, so long as Zulima's people do not harm her, her husband and son, so she agrees to give her a key card that opens any door. In the evening, Macarena gets to know his cellmates better and finds out why each of them was imprisoned. Soldad burned her husband for treason, Annabelle ran a bar with easy-to-reach girls, and Yolanda robbed collectors. At night, Macarena is very nervous, cries, and cannot sleep. Yolanda tries to calm her down as this is a normal reaction for a newbie. In order to call new friends she takes girl by the hand and Macarena notices a beautiful tattoo in the shape of the number 8 on her arm. A couple of hours later, Sulima comes to the camera and invites Yolanda to take a little walk. After making sure everyone in the cell is asleep, she agrees and leaves. Fabio and Antonio are doing their routine round and notice that the door to the laundry room is open. Deciding to check the room, the guards find the girl's corpse, after which they report this to Paloma and the authorities. In the morning, inmates notice Yolanda's absence and go to the shower. Here, the curly-haired beauty Estefania openly courts Macarena and invites her to become a couple. Girl refuses the offer, but Saray has already managed to become jealous of her for Estefania with whom she is head over heels in love. The police arrive at the scene and find out that Yolanda was tortured before her death and tortured with an ire that releases steam with a temperature above 90 degrees to find out where she hid the stolen money. Macarena worries about her friend missing and refuses to eat breakfast. Fabio forces girl to eat everything on her plate and talks about the fact that girl was killed in the laundry. He asks if she saw anything suspicious, but Sulima interferes with a private conversation as she treats the prisoner with distrust. Antonio takes Yolanda's belongings, putting them in a small box to make room for the bed. Soledad asks him to be human and not to do so, so that she and others can say goodbye to her friend, accepting her death. A little later, prisoners go to the greenhouse and take care of the plants. 
Macarena inherited Yolanda's land. Soledad tells her about exactly how Yolanda ended up behind bars. The girl, together with the guy, carefully planned the robbery and, pretending to be injured, stole 9 million euros. Soon Guy was killed and she was captured, but money was never found. Girl's phone had another Siam card, but she managed to hide the right one. Listening to all this, Macarena digs in the ground and suddenly finds a bag containing the same card that stores information about where the money is hidden. A little later, Macarena goes to meet with a lawyer provided to her by Annabelle. Realizing that girl is accused under four articles, Ricardo offers only one way out. He will pay a million euros as a cash deposit or stay in prison for another seven years. The girl's accounts and apartment are arrested and she has no money. Realizing that she will not be able to get out, Macarena falls into hysterics and turns to the doctor to give her a sedative. Carlos is not only a medical professional, but also a real maniac who injects her with sleeping pills to turn her into his favorite toy. After meeting with the lawyer, Annabelle says that Macarena should work a quid pro quo. She has no right to refuse, otherwise Zulima will find out that she saw everything and will kill her. Girl receives a key card and must be in the yard after a walk to pick up a special bag. Unable to refuse, Macarena takes the key, after which they go to dinner. The guards on the surveillance cameras notice that the prisoners have an awl and arrange a search. Estefania notices that her friend is nervous and starts a fight with security to create a distraction and help her get rid of the card key. Realizing that she is in prison for a long time, Macarena calls her mother again, but this time she tells her the truth. On a walk, she realizes that she has lost her key card and hides in a basket of balls. While searches are taking place in the cells, the girl receives a package with prohibited substances and hides it in her pants. Realizing that they will look for her, Macarena closes herself from the outside and pretends that someone locked her there on purpose. The guards are distrustful and arrange a search, during which they find the same package. Macarena is sent to a punishment cell, and here she notices a symbol that looks like Yolanda's tattoo. The girl realizes that the only way to pay for her freedom is to find the money that her friend hid before being in prison. Macarena settles into the punishment cell and notices that everything is not as bad here as it seemed to her at first glance. Soon she hears that there is someone in the next cell and gets acquainted with the prisoner. Being sincere, Macarena tells that it was not her white powder, she just helped Annabelle out. As it turned out, the neighbor was the director of the prison, who recorded the girl's testimony in order to identify all the accomplices distributing prohibited substances and punish them for it. Macarena continues to play sports and in one of the days injures her hand. Doctor diagnoses her with a dislocated wrist and tendon rupture, after which he decides that it would be better for the girl to stay in his medical box. Here, Teresa turns to Macarena and asks to go to the toilet in a jar as the doctor checks her tests for the content of prohibited substances. She helps the prisoner and sees the unfortunate Estefania lying in the ward after the brawl. A little later, it turns out that the girl who passed the tests Teresa is pregnant. The girls are preparing the assembly hall for parting with Yolanda. At this time, Fabio's wife calls and invites Antonio to dinner with them. Taking advantage of the lack of security, the prisoners drink wine and Soledad passes out. As it turned out, alcohol was forbidden to the woman and her heart stopped, but doctor managed to save her. Zulima visits Macarena in the medical block and warns her that she will kill her if the girl starts talking. Doctor drives the prisoner away and examines the girl suffering from allergies. She cannot wear artificial underwear and Carlos, who has fallen in love with her, promises to solve this problem. The director of the prison, Miranda, gathers the guards Paloma, Fabio, and Antonio in her office. This trio was on shift the night the prisoner was killed and she is sure that one of them is an accomplice in the crime. Guests come to visit Macarena and Fabio helps the girl allowing her to talk with her parents for as long as she needs. The mother is shocked because of what happened and goes outside to get some fresh air. Meanwhile, the father interrogates his daughter and leaves her 500 euros, realizing how important money in the prison. During dinner, Macarena asks for fish and the prisoners, passing the dish, spit on it. The girl does not want to eat the fish, but Fabio forces her to do so in order to comply with the rules of the prison. The cook saves Macarena in time and tells the guard about what happened. He is shocked that the girl is weak-willed and pathetic, allows herself to be offended and humiliated. 
Deciding on the first responsible act, she tells him that she has information about the death of a cellmate. In the director's office, she says that Zulima took Yolanda out of the cell and she never saw her again. At a farewell party for a murdered prisoner, Zulima acts hypocritical and pretends that Yolanda was her best friend. Meanwhile, Sarai asks Macarena to leave Estefania the curly girl alone as she loves her and will kill anyone who gets in her way. Fabio realizes that Paloma is involved in lawlessness and interrogates her. Under pressure from Akali, the young mother confesses that Zulima threatened her, so she had to give her the key card. In the evening, Antonio goes to visit Fabio and during dinner he meets his blind wife. As it turned out, Fabio used to work in the police and the robbers beat his wife. He did everything to find them and send them to jail. Then the accomplices returned to their house and again punished the woman, as a result of which she lost her sight. It was then that Fabio quit and went to prison as a warden, promising his wife to be honest and sincere with her. The headmistress does not want to return home, as her husband left the woman on her birthday, writing a farewell letter. Meanwhile, Macarena and Estefania are given a task by a doctor to make a dress for his little daughter. The girls become friends, but Macarena does not want to cross the line, as she is afraid of the formidable Sarai. Estefania decides to put an end to the relationship and is rude to her ex-girlfriend, demanding to leave her alone. The next day, Paloma visits Zulima and promises to keep quiet, not telling the police anything. Macarena also visits her, but admits that she told the police about everything. The girl is sure that Zulima will not risk harming her or her loved ones, as she will be the first to fall under suspicion. Zulima decides to punish the insolent girl and calls her husband, ordering the murder. Macarena realizes what a stupid thing she did and tries to contact her father. She pays 400 euros to Annabelle, but she takes them on account of the debt for the powder that the guards confiscated from the girl. Macarena gives the last money to another prisoner to give her the phone, but the father ignores the calls. The girl makes a third attempt and steals the phone from Antonio to warn her father of the danger. Leopoldo answers the phone and reassures his daughter. He is a former guardsman and you should not worry about him. The man found a way to solve problems and find money, as he is now next to reformer boss. He threatens him with a gun and demands a million euros to get Macarena out of jail. Meanwhile, the killer tracks down the victim and fires a shot, but does not kill the girl's relatives, but kills Paloma, who was in another parking lot. Leopoldo visits his daughter and reports that he demanded money from her boss, but he ran away. Macarena, in turn, says that there is an illegal way to get several million euros and talks about Yolanda, who stole money from collectors. A little later, the girl meets with the director and finds out that Solima is in the punishment cell so that nothing threatens her, but soon she will be returned to the general cell. During their conversation, Macarena's phone rings, Antonio tries to find him and the girl, pretending to be sick, runs away. Estefania answers the security guard's call and deceives him that she found the phone on the bus and is ready to return it. After talking with her father and the director, Macarena goes to the greenhouse and digs in the vegetable garden, realizing that someone has stolen Yolanda's asylum card. She suspects Soledad of this and indeed, the woman took her away to hide it and nothing threatened the girl's life. Soledad offers to get rid of the card, but Macarena persuades her not to do this because 9 million is her only way to freedom. Zulima is isolated from others, but even in the punishment cell, she talks on the phone with her lover and knows that Macarena's father is waiting for them to appear. She sends a message to the girl and warns her that the snitch will definitely be punished. Shower room, Macarena is forced to hide Yolanda's Siam card, but someone steals her clothes. The prisoners begin to mock Macarena and call her a snitch, while Zulima openly provokes Fabio into a conflict. Annabelle demands money from the girl for white powder and threatens to kill her if she does not repay the debt within 24 hours. Macarena is scared and she gives Antonio's phone to Estefania. The dark-skinned curly girl sells the opportunity to talk with loved ones and earns 600 euros from this, which she passes on to Macarena. Meanwhile, the girl meets a prisoner from whom she accidentally stole a towel when she was naked. The woman is not angry and forgives her, because they often do this with newcomers, and she saw that Annabelle took her clothes. Macarena comes into conflict with Saray and gets hit in the face with the ball. In the medical block, she remembers that the doctor feels sympathy for him and flirts with a man, 
so that he will allow her to return to the cell and be more supportive. At the same time, Fabio realizes that Zulima is involved in the murder of Paloma and beats her, showing his willingness to take action. Macarena meets with Annabelle and gives 600 euros. She knows that the neighbor stole the clothes and the Satayam card and asks for them back. It turned out that Annabelle had already sold her to Sarai and could not do anything. Fabio continues to lose control and goes to the police station to get the inspector to act. Antonio is worried about his friend's behavior because his wife has already left him and is trying to talk to the director so that she can help him. Estefania moves into Macarena's cell after doing a favor for the doctor. At first, this makes the girl angry, but she understands the actions of her friend and is glad that now they will live together. Teresa has to take retests and turns to Macarena for help. When the girl refuses, Teresa informs her of her pregnancy. On a meeting with her father and brother, Macarena hides this information from loved ones and learns that the bail can be reduced by a third if she proves a relationship with the boss. The girl lost her SSIM card and the plan failed, but she no longer intends to give up. Macarena gets into a fight with Saray and demands the number back. After losing physically, she offers a quid pro quo. Saray returns the SIM card to her, and Macarena changes the testimony she gives to the policeman and publicly pushes Estefania away from himself, for which she gets punched in the face by her. After unlocking Yolanda's Siam card, Macarena finds a photo of the place where she hid the money. The girl calls her father and sends him photos, after which Leopoldo sends his son to the store for a shovel, gloves, and other equipment. At the exit from the supermarket, Zulima's accomplice was waiting for Roman and stuffed him into the trunk. Macarena tells Soledad that she is pregnant. Zulima offers the girl patronage, but in return, she must find Yolanda's nine million and give her most of the money. Zulima allows her to take a million for farming and release, but requires the remaining eight million. After turning her down, Macarena answers the phone. Curly decided to talk to her on Antonio's phone and apologize for her behavior. Macarena is not angry with her friend and asks how she is doing in the punishment cell but soon their conversation is interrupted by a guard who noticed Estefania's mobile phone. Zulima is angry with Macarena and calls Hamble, who has kidnapped her brother Roman. She asks to interrogate him and find out where the money is hidden, but tells him not to kill Roman. As soon as Hamble opens the trunk, Roman beats him and runs away, after which he insists on going to the police with his father and telling them what happened. Meanwhile, the director summons Antonio as she suspects him of providing services to prisoners in exchange for an intimate relationship. They found his phone at the Curly, and Teresa said that Antonio was the father of her child. He is suspended from work, and an investigation is launched, but Fabio does not believe the false evidence and tries to get to the bottom of the truth. Macarena goes to the doctor to confirm her pregnancy and ask for an abortion. The term is short, so the girl can get off with a special pill but she can get it only after she satisfies Carlos. Macarena refuses and flees the doctor's office. Calling her brother, she talks about the humiliation and bullying that she has to endure in prison. Roman realizes that only the stolen nine million can save his sister and changes his mind, refusing to talk to the police about his recent kidnapping. Fabio reviews the security cameras and realizes that Antonio's phone was stolen by Macarena. He interrogates the girl and finds out about her pregnancy. The next morning, Leopoldo and the inspector meet with Fabio to ask him to be the Macarena's patron. At the same time, the police officer is aware of the situation that is happening in the prison and asks Leopoldo not to look for the missing 9 million, otherwise their friendship will end. Zulima is frankly rude to one of the guards and shows her disrespect for him. Ismail decides to take revenge on her and arranges everything as if Zulima is selling white powder. Annabelle sees this and takes the prisoner for a competitor who has occupied her business niche. Macarena wants to get rid of the baby and turns to Annabelle to bring her a pill. Meanwhile, Fabio reveals Teresa's lie and the girl admits that she is not actually pregnant, but Macarena and Antonio have nothing to do with this, so he can be reinstated. Annabelle meets with a messenger and distributes gifts to the prisoners. She forgot about Macarena but is not worried about it and offers to do a favor for the doctor in exchange for terminating the pregnancy. A little later, Annabelle meets with Zulema and warns her not to meddle in her territory. As a threat, she leaves Zulema's battered maid in the laundry room 
on which there is no living place. The cops put pressure on the curly girl to take a confession from Macarena about Yolanda's Sesayam card and offer her freedom in exchange. Estefania agrees and puts on a listening device. She first goes to therapy, where she apologizes to Sarai for her behavior and confesses her love for her. A little later, the curly girl goes to Macarena's cell and obtains the necessary evidence, which allows the police to call the girl for questioning. Macarena admits that she had the right number and she saw the photos, so she can show where the money is hidden. Fabio, Macarena, the inspector go in search of a treasure. Macarena asks Fabio to help her terminate the pregnancy and then notices the very stones, but pretends not to recognize the place from the photographs. Meanwhile, Leopoldo and Roman go looking for money. Knowing that Hambal is after them, they go to another place and dig where there is nothing. The Arab is preparing to kill the Macarena family when suddenly he is noticed by the assistant inspector. As a result of the shootout, Zulima's lover wounds the inspector and kills his assistant and also shoots Macarena, but Fabio covers her with his body. Frightened, Leopoldo and Roman flee the scene. Bloodied and armed, Macarena flees the scene of the shootout, but the guards catch her and the girl surrenders. Ten days later, she is back in jail and undergoing an ultrasound to make sure the baby is okay. Macarena learns that she will have a boy and talks about it on a meeting with her father and brother. She asks them to stop looking for money dishonestly and leave the venture with Yolanda's millions, otherwise they too may end up behind bars. The prisoners watch a news story in which journalists report that they found a hole in the forest and, presumably, Zulima's young lover found the money and fled with it. The woman does not want to believe that Hanbal has betrayed her as the guy does not answer her calls and turned off his mobile phone. Zulima feels oppressed and threatens Macarena, but the girl realized that she needed to be able to stand up for herself. She is no longer afraid to respond boldly to the Arab empress of the prison and openly insults her, commanding respect from others. While in prison, Macarena recalls that she had the opportunity to escape. There in the forest, when the inspector and Fabio were injured, she did not leave them, but helped the guard and his former colleague in every possible way. When Fabio almost lost consciousness due to blood loss, she grabbed a gun and ran to the road to call for help. Soon she met with Hamble and even shot at him, but missed. In response, the guy asked to convey the message to Zulima and fled. Curly Estefania talks to the principal and asks for better conditions in exchange for betraying her friend. The woman promises to help, but for this girl needs to find a job. A little later, the director speaks with Macarena and refuses to transfer her to the mother's unit since she has not yet given birth. Macarena promises Estefania to help with the job and calls her uncle to set up an interview. Meanwhile, Zulima learns that her parents want to marry her friend Saray to the son of a gypsy baron. Knowing that Saray is in love with another girl, Zulima intervenes in her friend's conversation with her parents and tells them the truth. The gypsies abandon their daughter and say goodbye to her forever, which causes a conflict between Sarai and Zulima. Akarena's mother returns home and brings a lot of money that she borrowed from relatives. Fabio, after being injured, returns to work and sees that Macarena and Curly are spending too much time together. The guard is in love with a pregnant girl, so he tells her that it was Estefania who handed her over to the police and because of her they ended up in that forest. After that, Macarena sends a message to Zulima and warns that she will kill her for the sake of her child, because the future son is all she has. Doctor is ready to help and transfer pregnant woman to the mother's unit, but in return she must kneel. Macarena is ready to, but at the last moment, she warns that her teeth may clench and it will hurt. Having accepted another refusal of the beauty, Carlos kicks her out of the office and refuses to help. Estefania is waiting for an interview with Macarena's uncle but at the last moment, she learns that it has been cancelled. She is outraged and angry at her friend, but the pregnant girl also has something to be offended about, because the curly girl handed her over to the police and recorded her testimony on a listening device. Hanbel sneaks into the home of the Macarena family and nearly kills the girl's sleeping mother. Noticing that there was no one else, he looked around all the rooms and found the hidden money. Moreover, Zulima's lover found photos of the place where 9 million euros are hidden. Realizing that they have no other way to save Macarena, Roman and Leopoldo head into the woods with weapons.
they find the right place but see only an empty hole and realize that Hanbal stole the money and disappeared before they arrived. Zulima gives her assistant to Macarena so that she listens to her in everything and fulfills any wish of a pregnant girl. In fact, she assigned her not only for this, but also for the assistant to eavesdrop on all the conversations of Macarena with friends, relatives, and other prisoners. Meanwhile, illegal substances continue to circulate in the prison, and the director decides to step up surveillance of everyone in the building. This also applies to the staff, so she, along with the doctor and Antonio, goes to the guard's locker room to conduct a search. In Esmail's bag, Antonio found a white powder, but hid it so as not to betray a work colleague. A little later, he tells Fabio about this, and he criticizes his friend for not betraying Esmail right away. The inspector visits his old comrade Leopoldo, as he believes that he is in danger. The man tries to hide the trace of the shot, but the policeman still finds the bullet and takes it for examination to make sure that it was fired from Hamble's pistol. Soon the parents visit Macarena, and the girl tells them that she is expecting a child. She is not afraid to spend seven years in prison and is ready for it. The curly girl intervenes in their conversation and openly flirts with Leopoldo's daughter. Parents understand that Macarena has begun to change and becomes like other prisoners, so she needs to be pulled out of here as quickly as possible. A little later, Macarena and Estefania talk again and make up, realizing that they are still best friends. Annabelle got an abortion pill, but Macarena doesn't need it anymore. A woman bills for services and demands money or work off a debt. Macarena agrees to help her and become a temporary storage cell in order to smuggle the white powder into the prison. The girl goes on a date and receives two packets of powder, but the doctor takes her to his office after the date for an examination. Macarena gives the powder to the doctor and asks not to tell anyone about it, because otherwise her child may be taken away from her. He is ready to remain silent, but she must kiss him and give a chance for a relationship. Saray marries the son of a baron so that her parents will forgive her, but they still refuse the girl and do not want to see her. Meanwhile, a letter arrives at the prison for Zulima. Fabio opens it and finds a 500 euro note with a mobile phone and a phrase from the Curran in Arabic. The cops and prison staff realize that the Hanbal are up to something and start following Zulima. When she calls, they try to figure out the location of the criminal, but it turns out that everything is set up and has become a trap for the police. Zulima knew that she was being tapped, and Hanbal left her a completely different cipher, warning that he would soon arrange an escape for the woman. Annabelle finds out that the doctor took the powder and puts Macarena on the counter. The girl fights back and others see it, which is why Zulima ridicules the drug dealer. Feeling humiliated, Annabelle and several of her assistants catch Macarena and drag her into the boiler room. The woman wants to punish a naughty pregnant girl but does not have time to do this. The assistant informs Zulema about what was happening and she paid a deposit of 500 euros so that Annabelle would let Macarena go. Meanwhile, Leopoldo and Roman figure out the trailer where Hanbal was chasing them. Having found the car, the head of the family goes to him to kill the Arab and steal 9 million euros. Bursting into the trailer, Leopoldo realizes that they made a mistake and there are other people here. Leopoldo realizes that there is no Hanbal in the trailer and introduces himself to the police to calm the people living there. As it turned out, the Arab really drove this car, but in the morning he returned it to the rental. Carefully examining the trailer, Leopoldo and Roman found a booklet that they decided to take with them. In the evening, Macarena cannot calm down and is angry with Annabelle because of what happened. She promises to return the money to her and warns that she will kill the woman if she harms her unborn child. Estefania comforts her friend and lies down next to her to protect her at night. The girls can't sleep and the curly girl kisses Macarena. At first, she likes it and she reciprocates allowing her to put her hand under the covers, but then she changes her mind and stops her friend. At night, Macarena wakes up from the Estefania's moan and sees that her friend satisfies herself. Zulima is also unable to sleep and asks her assistant to lie in bed with her and then hug her tighter. In the morning, Macarena goes to meet Miranda and asks her to sign an authorization for a non-invasive prenatal genetic test. This will confirm that the future son is the child of a runaway boss thanks to which she will prove her innocence and reduce the amount required for bail. Miranda is ready to help her, but only a doctor can sign the paper. 
Macarena is afraid to turn to him, realizing that the man will ask something in return, but she has no choice. Leaving the director's office, Macarena overhears a conversation with a police officer and learns that Hanbal is planning Zulima's escape. Roman is ready to give up, but Leopoldo realizes that they have no other way to help Macarena, which means they must hunt down Hanbal. The wife suspects that her husband is up to something and demands the missing family money from him in order to pay an advance to her daughter's lawyer. There is no money, so Roman goes to the bank to get a loan, but he is refused. Soon, Macarena calls his father and informs him about the planned escape. She also talks about meeting Hanbal in the forest and repeats the message he gave to Zulima. In the director's office, a police officer reports that Zulima's lawyer has filed a request with the court for her to change her testimony. To do this woman must be taken to the courtroom and the inspector assumes that this is where the attack on the convoy will take place. Everyone thinks that Zulima will keep quiet so as not to attract attention, but they are wrong. She starts fight with Annabelle, and when the girl dealer fights back, Zulima burns her hand with an iron. Antonio saw what was happening, but Saray distracted him so that the guard did not have time to interfere with the conflict. Prisoners are examined by a gynecologist and tested. After Macarena goes to the doctor and talks about the modern method of determining paternity, Carlos is not going to sign the papers, since the test is best done after the 16th week of pregnancy, and the girl is only on the 11th. Macarena assumes that Carlos is taking revenge on her, and she immediately undresses. She is ready for anything, if only the doctor would sign the papers, but he pushes the girl around and kicks her out of the office. Fabio follows everything that happens in the prison through video cameras and notices how Macarena leaves Carlos' office naked. The guard decides to talk alone with the girl and learns that Carlos is a terrible person who controls the prisoners and uses them for his own purposes. Macarena is unable to argue, but she is also unable to fulfill the doctor's requests. Fabio, who is in love with the prisoner, kisses her and passion flares up between them. At the last moment, they realize that they should stop as Antonio is watching them through a security camera. Fabio decides to personally deal with Carlos and goes to him. The doctor withstands the onslaught of a loving security guard and tells that Macarena has a mental disorder and a split personality, so mood swings and frequent changes in her decision are in the order of things. Fabio meets with Leopoldo to find out if the doctor is telling the truth and is convinced that Carlos is lying. Roman and Leopoldo receive an order from an Arabic restaurant and ask the courier to translate the message. As it turned out, the phrase from the Koran, purify your soul, was encrypted in it. Leopoldo studies scripture and learns that a woman must purify herself with water and fire before reaching Allah. He assumes that Zulima decided to take her own life, but in fact she asks the assistant to douse her with steam and gets severe burns. Prison workers find Zulema on the floor and call Fabio to hurry back to work. Hearing that the prisoner was badly burned, Leopoldo understands that this is part of the plan and the abduction will take place today at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. There is only one hospital with a burn unit, and on the way to it, the bridge is the best point of attack. Accompanying will be one policeman in an ambulance and two guards' cars. The mercenaries will easily kill all of them, including the inspector and Leopoldo's friend. He is a former guardsman, understands that Hanbal must be in charge of all this remotely and decides to find the Arab before he can carry out his plan. Upon returning to prison, Fabio again goes to Carlos to sort things out and stand up for the unfortunate Macarena. The doctor understands that the situation has escalated and decides to prove his innocence. He shows the result of the tests, according to which the girl was found to have several venereal diseases. This proves that she was making love with prisoners, even though the curly girl was actually just using her when Macarena was sleeping. In addition, Carlos has a video where a girl takes out a white powder from her panties, which she received from a man on a date. Fabio is completely disappointed in Macarena and when he meets her, says that there can be nothing more between them. On the way to the hospital, Zulima waits impatiently for five hours, realizing that she is about to be released. Leopoldo decides to save his friend and hurries to the bridge. Just moments before the decisive stage, he finds Hamble and stops him. The mercenaries do not block the ambulance, and it, along with the guardsmen, calmly passes by. They turn to Hamble, but he is no longer there, as Roman and Leopoldo have taken him hostage in order to recover the stolen 9 million euros.
Macarena's relatives are trying to take the criminal away, but at some point Leopoldo becomes ill. The man has a heart attack due to the fact that he did not take the pills and he needs to go to the hospital as soon as possible. Hamble is in the trunk and he constantly screams, which can cause suspicion and unnecessary attention. Roman decides to calm the prisoner, but he attacks him as soon as he opens the trunk. Frightened, Roman shoots and wounds Hamble in the leg, warning that the next bullet will be in the head. Meanwhile, at the prison, everyone is getting ready to watch movie. Once a month the prisoners have this opportunity and look forward to the screening as it is their favorite film. Teresa is one of the few who is not interested because the guy with whom she went to jail a few years ago will come to visit her. Preparing for a date, she puts on makeup and the girls help her get a manicure, making Teresa a real beauty. Annabelle understands that Zulima is not there and takes her assistant for herself. At first, Casper refused to serve her, but choosing between slavery and debt, she settled on the first option. In the leisure room, everyone is getting ready for an evening movie. Sarai decides to find out the relationship with Macarena, as she found out that she had an intimate relationship with a curly girl. As a result of the scuffle, Macarena throws a chair at the TV, and it breaks. The head of the prison does not send the girls to the punishment cell, but sends them to community work so that Sarai and Macarena paint the yellow lines. Fabio is outraged by such a mild punishment, but Miranda is sure that the girls should not be punished, but forced to make peace. Roman takes his father to the hospital and returns home to hide the wounded Hamble in the garage. He tells his mother about what happened, and they go to visit Leopoldo. As it turned out, he did not have a heart attack, but an ischemic stroke, due to which the man cannot speak. While his wife goes to Leopoldo, Roman reads articles about how much blood a person has and what will happen if the bullet is not pulled out. Realizing that the consequences could be catastrophic, he hurriedly returns home to help Hamble and prevent him from dying. During community service, Sarai constantly provokes Macarena into conflict, but the worst thing is that other prisoners got angry at the girl who broke the TV. They threaten her and demand to solve the problem with the evening viewing, otherwise Macarena will feel bad. Fabio sees all this, but is not going to help the liar and openly expresses his hatred for her. Alonso sees what is happening and does not understand the change in the mood of his colleague, because more recently Fabio almost made love with Macarena. Zulima is in the hospital after severe burns and denies the fact that she herself asked Casper to do them. The doctor informs Inspector that the prisoner must remain in the ward for a few more days as she has severe burns. Some time later, woman changes Zulim's bandages, but she grabs her and threatens her with a pair of scissors to make a phone call. Zulima calls Hamble, but Leopoldo's wife answers the phone. Zulima finds out where they are and realizes that her beloved is being held hostage by the Macarena family. Sarai paints yellow lines and accidentally hits Ismail's boot with the paint. He is ready to severely punish the girl for bad behavior, but Macarena stands up for her reminding her that there is a camera around. Sarai does not want to remain in debt, so she warns the girl that she urgently needs to find a TV. Prison is a special place where even the slightest pretext can turn into a blood feud. If in the evening, the prisoners do not see the film Pretty Woman, then Macarena will be killed, and a week later they will not even remember what caused this. Realizing how serious this is, Macarena calls his parents in Roman, but they are too busy. The mother exposes Leopoldo, who has two phones, and the girl's older brother is busy with the bleeding handle. Realizing that her relatives will not help, Macarena turns to Alonso for help, but Fabio drives her away and says that they will not do anything for her. Continuing to solve the problem, Macarena asks the curly girl to get a phone and passionately thanks that she complied with her request. A little later, she calls on the radio, where the director of the prison is speaking. A girl on live TV asks for a TV, but Fabio finds her and interrupts the call. Macarena warns the guard that he will regret his distrust and ask for forgiveness, but Fabio does not think so. Roman tries to get the bullet out of Hanbel's leg, realizing that he has too much blood loss. First, he is distracted by his daughter's phone call, and then by his mother, who is returned home. Meanwhile, the police notice marks on Zulima's doctor's neck and learn of her threats and attempt to contact her lover. Handel's phone was in a nearby hospital and Leopoldo is among the patients. The inspector understands that this is not accidental and leaving the assistant near the friend's room, goes to his house. 
Antonio is increasingly annoyed by Fabio's hatred for Macarena, and he decides to help the girl by giving her his TV. Teresa's boyfriend comes and she tries to talk to him about plans for the future, but he is not interested in this. Alfonso is off drugs and wants to start a new life. Teresa is not part of his plans, so she can forget about him forever. Taking it too much to heart, she locks herself in the closet and takes all the doses of the powder she bought from Annabelle the day before. Inspector Castillo knows about everything that happens around the Macarena family. He found Roman's car and saw that someone was shooting at their house. The bullet was fired from Hamble's pistol, which means that he was visiting them. The policeman also asked to bring weapons that are registered to Leopoldo. The wife goes to the garage to find a revolver and sees Hamble tied up. Without saying a word to the policeman, she gives the gun back and asks him to leave. Roman notices that there are bloody marks from his mother and hastily wipes them off so as not to cause unnecessary questions from the inspector. As soon as Castillo leaves, Roman and his mother go to the garage to get a bullet, as the woman is a nurse by training. Meanwhile, Macarena learns from the director of the prison that her father is in the hospital and has had an ischemic stroke. When the girl returns to the cell, a mob of angry prisoners attacks her. Macarena tries to fight back, but she is beaten by a dozen women. Fabio finds a bloody girl lying on the floor and grabbing her in his arms, hurries to the doctor. Zulingma is discharged from the hospital and returned to prison under escort. Casper visits Macarena in the hospital room and gives her breakfast. Suspecting nothing, the girl eats and does not realize that Zulima mixed her drink with an abortion pill. Upon returning to prison, Zulima realizes that she is losing power because many doubt her former strength. Determined to regain her status, she encourages Sarai to go all in and play big. As soon as Macarena is discharged and returned to her cell, Zulima visits her. After driving everyone out of the cell, Sarai and Zulima take the girl prisoner and take a photo with her in order to poison Leopoldo. A man after an ischemic heart attack returns home and receives a photo of his daughter, who is threatened with sharpening. A minute later, Zulima calls Leopoldo and demands to let Hamble go. As a result of the negotiations, Zulima allows the man to talk to his daughter and communicates with his captive lover. Antonio sees that something is happening in the cell and hurries there but Sarai knocks him out by hitting two bars of soap on the head. Curly also tries to break through to the cell, but the other prisoners do not let her near it. Zulima takes Antonio and Macarena hostage by barricading herself inside cell 225. The prison staff discuss the new rules with the director. Miranda believes that their prison should be an example for others, so they should make the prisoners be more polite and not swear. Their conversation is interrupted by Zulima, who contacts the boss on the walkie-talkie, which she took away from Antonio. Leopoldo knows that her daughter has taken pills to terminate the pregnancy. He understands that money is important to Zulim and is not going to let her lover go. Instead, he puts Hamble's leg in a vice and breaks his ankle, turning the guy into an invalid. After contacting Zulima, Leopoldo exchanges threats with her and hangs up, as he decided to bring the matter to an end. Prison guards return the prisoners to their cells so that they do not interfere during the assault on cell 225. Fabio offers to contact the police for help, but Miranda decides that she herself is able to extinguish the riot. Zulema asks director of the prison to turn on loud music and enjoys the fact that her requests are fulfilled unquestioningly. Ismail and some guards try to storm the cell, but the helpers warn Zulema about it. She shoots through the mattresses and wounds Ismail. At the same time, Macarena frees herself and attacks Zulima, but Sarai restrains her and suppresses the girl's rebellion. Miranda realizes that the situation is getting out of control, and at that moment Inspector Castillo, who was invited by Fabio, appears in the prison. The police officer realizes that all this is somehow connected with the Macarena family and asks someone to visit her father. While holding Hamble hostage, Roman and Leopoldo meet the police and promise to come to the prison soon. Leopoldo continues to mock Hamble, and he no longer able to endure pain, tells about where 9 million euros are hidden. Leopoldo calls Zulima and tells that he knows about money and that he will have it very soon. Soon Leopoldo appears on the scene and admits to Castillo that all the problems are because of him, and Hamble is his prisoner, whom he keeps in the garage. The inspector agrees to help, and knowing that Macarena could have an unplanned abortion, 
sends a team to storm the cell. Meanwhile, the girl starts bleeding and it becomes clear that a miscarriage is inevitable. Sarai is worried about this whole situation because she did not sign up for armed robbery and the murder of a child who had not yet had time to be born. Leopoldo is ready to cooperate with the investigation and hand over Hannibal, but only after Castillo releases his daughter. He requests a phone call to ask his wife and Roman to leave home. Sarai realizes what a stupid thing she did by trusting Zulema and unties Macarena. Taking the rope, she is about to attack her patroness and suffocate her, but the police shoot them with sleeping pills and unlock the cell. Doctors examine Macarena, check the child's condition and state that his heart is no longer beating. Meanwhile, Leopoldo's wife understands that she cannot leave everything just like that, and taking the package strangles Hanbel after which she tells Roman about it. Soon, the police interrogate everyone who was a member of the prison riot, but do not receive any useful information. Macarena lost her baby and is in a hospital block to recover from what happened. At some point, she notices a ginger cat walking around nearby, and he makes her smile. Carlos visits a patient and offers his patronage. Macarena does not need this, so she hits the doctor in the face, and Fabio, watching the camera, becomes a witness to what happened. Castillo interrogates Leopoldo, but he does not confess where his money hidden and where Hanbel has evaporated. As it turned out, he managed to call his relatives so that they set fire to the garage and destroyed all the evidence. The body of the Arab was also not found, but only because Leopoldo's wife could not kill him and he fled. Hanbel hid in the hangar for several days, but his uncle came to him, who took and hid him. Roman meets his daughter and future wife. The woman is outraged by his behavior as he does not answer her calls and ignores the upcoming wedding. Roman promises to improve and pick up his daughter, but now he needs to go, as there are urgent matters. Roman meets with Castillo and gives testimony that exactly confirms all the words of his father. After that, he heads to the wasteland where Hanbel's car is parked, and, after carefully searching it, finds Yolanda's stolen money. The prison prepares for the Sunday service and invites a priest. Macarena goes for a walk and notices Cat again. She watches him intently, which arouses suspicion in Fabio, who did not notice the animal. Soldat supports Macarena and asks her to let go of her anger and desire for revenge. Bad deeds accumulate like a snowball, and having crossed the line, you will no longer be able to stop. Macarena has a chance to remain human, but for this she need to forgive Zulima. She understands that Soledad is right and asks the director to meet with the prisoner placed in the punishment cell. When they meet, Sulima frankly teases Macarena and throws porridge at her, but girl does not succumb to provocations and forgives the murderer of her son, who was never born. Meanwhile, Carlos, offended by the behavior of Macarena, convinces the director that the girl has paranoid schizophrenia and should be placed in a psychiatric hospital. He openly hates Macarena and writes off both the visions of the cat and the desire to meet Zulima as symptoms that indicate illness. Soldad suffers from a sick heart but understands that no one will help her since the coup for organ transplantation is long and no one will meet the prisoner. Hanbel and his uncle arrive at the place where the car was, but now it is gone. Roman stole a car and came home. Seeing that his parents had reconciled, he called his father outside and showed him the money. It turned out that instead of nine million, a little more than seven remained, but this is enough to free Macarena. Soon Hanbel calls them and demands to return all the money, otherwise he will start killing people close to the family. Roman reacts aggressively to the Arab's threats and is rude to him. Leopoldo asks his son to calm down and drive the car away, as soon the police will begin to follow them. Macarena meets a curly girl in the yard and agrees to become her girlfriend. She is new to this, so she needs Estefania to teach her everything herself. At some point, Macarena notices a cat on the roof and crawls up the drainpipe to prove that she is not crazy. The guards mistake this for an attempt to escape and fire a warning shot, after which they catch and tie the girl. In the ward, she again talks about the cat, and Carlos only confirms his diagnosis. Macarena is enraged by the act of the doctor and attacks him, but Carlos gives her a sedative injection and returns her to the cell. Having learned that the girl can be sent to a psychiatric hospital, the curly girl promises 300 euros to the one who finds the cat. Fabio watches the surveillance cameras and sees Estefania's inappropriate behavior. 
Soon, Macarena comes to the doctor and asks to forgive her. She is ready for anything, just not to end up in a psychiatric hospital. Carlos is ready to stop the process, but he must restore his reputation and his superiority. Macarena obediently removes his pens down, allowing her to be ruler. At this moment, Fabio bursts into the office and, having escorted the girl out, beats the doctor. He is not afraid of the consequences because he can file a countersuit and Carlos will be put in jail. Antonio witnesses what happened but does not tell the headmistress about it. Hiding the bruises, the doctor falls down the stairs and fakes an accident. Sarai sits in a punishment cell next to Zulima and cannot forgive her for her deed. For gypsies, children are sacred, so Sarai would never have approached the murder, knowing that Zulima poisoned Macarena to induce a miscarriage. She hates Zulima and decides to tell her to her face. An Arab queen scratches her ex-girlfriend and promises to make her life hell. Fabio continues to try to save Macarena and is reviewing the security footage. It turned out that the girl did not have hallucinations, and at 5 in the morning a ginger cat really visited her, who made his way to the prison. Roman and Leopoldo decide to drive the car away, but they see in the navigator the starting point from which Hanbel came to work. Deciding to track down the Arab in order to deal with him once and for all, they take the money and drive according to the route laid out. After spotting Uncle Hamble's car, they chase after them in hopes of recovering the stolen money. Soon the car stops and Leopoldo gets out with a white rag, showing that he is giving up. It turned out that the criminal stopped not because of surveillance, but because they arrived at the scene of a new crime. Their goal was the daughter of Roman and Hamble, not knowing pity, knocked down the baby to bring him as much pain as possible. A few days later, Roman and other family members bury a little girl who was killed by Hamble. Bitterly mourning his daughter, Roman doesn't want anyone else to get hurt. The family soon receives the wreath handed over by Hamble and realizes that he is mocking them. The police do not leave the family, suspecting that the escaped era was involved in what happened and will continue to take revenge on them. After spending 10 days in the punishment cell, Sulima began to go crazy and asked to meet with the director. In a personal meeting with Miranda, she admits that she has broken down and is ready to give up. Zulima told where she got the gun from and is ready to testify in court, making a sincere confession. Considering that all this was sincere, the headmistress allowed the woman to return to her cell. The prisoners are terribly greeted by the Arab queen, as she has lost her authority. Sarai encourages others to call her a child killer, and everyone looks down on Zulema. At night, Macarena cannot sleep, and the curly girl decides to help her friend with passionate kisses. The girl reciprocates and is ready for it, but soon realizes that she is rushing things too much and it is better to wait a little longer. In the morning, Roman comes to visit her and informs her that Hanbel killed his daughter. Wanting revenge, Macarena prepares to attack Zulima and waits for the right moment. Seeing that the she has entered the toilet, she occupies a neighboring booth and puts a noose around her neck. Sarai sees what is happening, but does not stop Macarena, unlike the curly girl, who did not allow her friend to commit the murder. The night before, Fabio and Ismail clean the toilet, but nothing works. When one of the guards goes to bypass the territory, the second finds the remains of cement and realizes that something is unclean here. In the morning, Fabio's wife calls Antonio and says that her husband did not spend the night at home. After checking the cameras, Antonio is convinced that his friend is in prison and has not left it. At the same time, no one can find him. The police arrive at the scene and help in the search for Fabio. Prisoners are taken outside so that they do not interfere with the searches. The guards find saws, weapons, and other devices, but there is no trace of Fabio. He seemed to have evaporated at the moment when the light went out in the prison and the cameras stopped recording. The headmistress invites Macarena to her office to tell the good news. When the girl had a miscarriage, Carlos took a DNA test from the boy and compared it with the DNA of Macarena's boss. A match has been found and now the court can recognize that the man perjured himself, which means that Macarena may be released without any bail. The girl is sure that she does not deserve to be released from prison since she almost killed Zulima, but the curly girl reassures her and convinces her of the opposite. Carlos reports that one of the patients in the organ transplant clinic did not fit a donor heart. Soledad is next on the list so she has to go to the hospital and there is every chance that the operation will be performed on her. A couple of hours later, 
Carlos visits Soledad again and reports that it is already late, since the heart has been without a heart transplant for several hours and they will not have time to arrive on time. The girls try to support their friend, but Soledad understands that she will die soon and nothing will save her. Macarena does not intend to sit back and turns to the director to help a sick woman. Miranda goes to meet her and calls the hospital so that they do not refuse the prisoner and send a helicopter for her. Antonio reviews the notes from the previous night and notices that the doctor was also in the hospital. He believes that Carlos is involved in the disappearance of Fabio and goes to him to find out. Antonio knows about the fight, but the doctor lies, saying that the reason for this was the guard's crush on Macarena. He does not know where Fabio is gone and did not tell about the incident solely because of friendship and the fact that their colleague is married. Leopoldo receives a phone in an envelope to which Zulema's lawyer calls. The Arab queen proposes a deal whereby she and Hamble will leave their family forever, but in return they owe them some money. Leopoldo is due to meet with the lawyer, but the police are following him. Roman diverts the attention of surveillance to himself allowing his father to meet with Zulima's lawyer and hand over the money to him. As it turned out, the lawyer doesn't care what happens to Hamble, and he doesn't mind if he is killed. Only money matters, so he offers Leopoldo a friendly agreement. Leopoldo gives the money to the lawyer, who tells him where Hamble is hiding. Armed, Roman and his father go to the old warehouse to arrest the criminal and hand him over to the police. At the same time, Zulima calls Hamble to say goodbye to him once and for all. At this moment, Leopoldo and his son burst into the warehouse and arrest him. Realizing that Zulima betrayed him, Hamble promises his mistress to kill her. The woman does not care at all, because the main thing for her is that the lawyer has the money and she can carry out her plan. The police continue to look for Fabio and find traces of blood in the toilet. They realize that something happened to him, but they can't find the missing guard. Meanwhile, Macarena is going to court but the curly girl accidentally stained her shirt with lipstick. The girl goes to the laundry to clean her clothes, when she suddenly meets Zulima and her assistants, who decided to escape through a hole in the wall. Macarena tries to escape to avoid being killed, but Sarai joins the company and takes the girl as a prisoner. Roman decides not to take Campbell to the police station, but to bury him alive. Leopoldo tries to prevent this, but his son demands to kill him, since he himself is not going to stop. Realizing that Roman cannot be stopped, Leopoldo kills Hamble to take the blame for his death. Meanwhile, the inspector digs through the toilet and finds cement, realizing that the prisoners are preparing an escape. After reviewing the cameras, he determines that they are in the laundry room and goes there. Castillo arrives late, and the prisoners manage to escape into the tunnel behind the washing machine. The policeman understands all the nuances of the escape and how it was organized. Fabio got in the way of Zulima and her assistants, so they hit him on the head and left him to die in the sewer system. Finding the guard is impossible because no one knows for sure where he is. Miranda resigned herself to Zulima's plan and the escape of several prisoners, but she cannot understand one thing why Macarena escaped with her, because tomorrow she could have been free anyway.